So hello everyone. In this video, we are going to learn how to attach your Celestron motor drive in this particular equatorial mount from Celestron. So if you remember in our previous video, we were doing the assembly of this whole mount, including the telescope that is the optical tube of this setup. So uh, we left over one particular but uh, important part as well, that is the motor drive that we need to install in this particular mount so that this mount can be automated for tracking while we are observing so uh, we will see in this video how to do that so okay before we uh, begin to install the particular motor drive i will show you that this is the particular motor drive that is provided by celestron if you can see clearly and uh, this is the axis that is going to connect with this access okay so we will see this later but before that i need to show you that how you will connect this if you have noticed that it has a particular angle with the hole in it this hole is gonna contain the screw inside it and that screw will pass into this hole as well this hole will hold the screw that is also provided okay and uh, we will use an allen key to tie that screw before that we need to take out this knob because this knob is not going to be useful if we are using the motor drive why there is another side as well we can attach it but we cannot access this particular knob because the motor drive is going to lock this axis and uh, you cannot move it at all okay so let's keep this on the side and let's begin with our motor drive uh, before you attach this here you need to take out this enclosure or you can say the cover of this particular motor drive for that you need to take out these two screws okay so this is the particular enclosure that came out and we are left with this motherboard and uh, the controls for it on it okay and this is the gearbox and the motor is in between this sandwiched so this cable is gonna attach to the 9 volt battery and i have added a foam tape in the middle so that the battery can be securely uh, fit inside it okay here uh, we need to do one thing very carefully that the lock between this axis should be perfectly aligned with this screw why i'm saying this uh, because you cannot move this thing let me show you one more thing this particular axis is actually flexible um, i hope you can notice so there are certain ways that you can do it one of the ways first attach the axis with each other and then wait uh, then run the motor then wait until the screw comes here and fits with the hole or else uh, you can do vice versa step that first fit, it, fit this angle with the hole and then wait for the screw side to come on this flat here i will attach this particular uh, place you can get the idea what i'm talking about here is a flat area in this axis that is gonna lock with this screw okay let me do it i have made it loose and i'm gonna attach it over here okay now our motor drive is fit with the axis but not securely attached to the mount so what we will do is we will give it power we will use this 9 volt battery and uh, we will wait until the angle here that you can see this angle should match with the hole of the mount so that we can put the screw that i showed you before okay and uh, here i go okay now it's moving 
I need to change the direction so that it will come to this side and I will attach this here and I will wait until it meets that particular place so the angle is already there where we need to fit the screw I have turned off the motor so that it will not keep on moving when I'm talking to you guys I'm gonna take off the battery from here so that we can do our work without any worrying and here is the screw that you can see here to put the screw is a little bit trickier part especially if you're a beginner because the allen key that i was talking to you they are going to provide you with the box itself if you can see okay now the screw is uh, inside it and i will just make it a bit more fit so that it is secured okay now our screw is perfectly tight enough now we can install this battery and attach the enclosure cap of it so you can see the battery and the motor drive is now attached this is our enclosure you will you might get confused that you are gonna attach it like this but this does not attach like this okay if you can see it you will have to make it like this upside down and then it goes inside easily So now our motor drive is perfectly installed to our equatorial mount and uh, now we are just ready to go turn on the switch and it will keep on tracking just point uh, point your telescope towards the object that you want to track and uh, in case if you are doing long exposure use a camera device or mobile phone whatever you want to attach with it and then turn it on and it's as simple as that one thing that is very uh, critical or you can say a little bit more tough that is to match the speed because this particular regulating knob is too small very small and for that i have a trick and we will see about that trick in another video because this video will become too much long for just one topic so we are wrapping up uh, over here and uh, we are already ready to go as of now so that's it for this video and uh, we will meet another video thank you for watching